complain on the fact here that I was about 25 minutes away from where Dynamite was last night and I was not there. I'm also going to complain next week how I live in New York and I'm also not at that Dynamite and I'm also not going to Long Island and I just got screwed. But it's not why we're here because we're reviewing Dynamite and what a show we had between a return. Um, we had a best in the world on commentary. Hook is... um. Might be making his debut, which is kind of huge, and so much more. So welcome to a brand new episode of Kimmy Talks Wrestling, and we are reviewing AEW Dynamite from last night, and we are starting! against Frankie Kazarian and CM Punk was on commentary for the first hour before he got beat up by Hook and Hobbs and Taz and some other people. Now this match was so good between Cole and Kazarian. They had very similar styles so it was interesting to see them wrestle. I don't think they wrestled since they were back in Ring of Honor which is also pretty interesting too and just the amount Adam Cole has improved since Ring of Honor during his time in NXT and now is unstoppable. He just fits in AEW so well and it's kind of nice to see that he chose AEW over the main roster. So Adam Cole obviously took the win and then went on the mic to tell us that it was story time. You, oh, I was going to say you could pass through. Okay, anyway. So, um, story time with Adam Cole, of course. So, he challenged Christian and the loot and Jurassic Express. To a six-man tag team match saying that nobody is better than the Young Bucks and Adam Cole, the Super Elite Bay Bay, because they are back in town. Later within the programming, they accept, and Christian had the line of the night saying that he's so used to losing on Wednesday Night Wars that he should probably add to his resume Fridays. That's a yike, because it was also rumored that Adam might have been going to SmackDown. <laughs> but this was really good. Punk on commentary within the first hour was really good, too. But it looks like this Team Taz thing is really heating up because Punk was just sitting there talking and Taz confronted him with Hook. Hook and Punk had a nice stare down before Hobbs absolutely demolished Punk and put him through a table. Now that table spot looked kind of iffy. The table didn't necessarily 100% break. So I really hope Punk's okay. This is us leading to next Friday at Grand Slam Rampage where it is Hobbs versus CM Punk. This match should be really good. I actually do expect Punk to put Hobbs over here just with how dominant this build has been and I feel like it makes more sense in this kind of story that Hobbs does win but I guess we'll see next week. But speaking of next week our dream match list continues because Kenny Omega and, Daniel Bri and Brian Danielson is being offered on free TV. Oh my god. So Daniel Bryan goes to the ring and basically wants to challenge Kenny Omega. This is the dream match that everyone has been looking forward to for years. And Kenny's just like, no, like, I don't want to wrestle you. I have nothing to prove to you. And he doesn't want it. Brian, Callis, and Kenny go back and forth for about five, ten minutes before Kenny finally says yes to next week in the main event of Grand Slam. Holy crap. The fact that this being offered on free TV is huge. Don't know why it's being offered on free TV, but Tony, that is your life decision. This match will be really good. I'm really excited. Obviously, Kenny's going to pick up the win here, but just to see these two wrestle for the first time since 2008 and just what they've been doing in their careers, the amount of improvements they've had since 2008 is insane. I was also seven in 2008, so seven, 20, that's 13 years if I could do math correctly in my head. That's insane. So I'm really excited for this match and I'm happy it's main eventing. Hmm. Oh yeah, the Suzuki answer. We gotta talk about that. So, <laughs> this is why I love AEW because they take what the fans just make up and just like report it. So obviously it was reported like, all week. We're gonna talk about the Suzuki and soon. We're gonna talk, you can walk through. It's facing me. No, I know I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> you can go in there. Yeah, I am gonna go in there. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to be right at the door. I don't know where else to film! Oh Suzuki, right. So, they're talking about the... <laughs> I'm laughing, that's funny. They're talking about the Suzuki incident. 
and you know they're teasing it all week and the main event was John Moxley and Eddie Kingston going up against 2.0 and I'm so happy 2.0 decided to go into AEW because they just fit this mold too with Daniel Garcia the best thing they've ever come up with and Moxley and Kingston win this match and just they are such a fun tag team Moxley and Kingston you can tell that they're having the time of their life and they are having so much fun the match ends and Suzuki comes out and they play his full entrance song, so we are okay. Like, the incident is no more guys. And Suzuki and Moxley and Kingston had such a fun brawl to end in Dynamite. I'm really looking forward to this match next week with Archer and Suzuki, who have apparently teamed up before, and I've never seen any matches with them but teaming up, so I'm really excited to see that. Now, of course, just Moxley, be like, Kingston being in New York, he's gonna have such a huge pop, and I'm so excited for it. Last night's Dynamite was really good, and it is just mind-boggling to see how big the shows are next week in New York. I'm really upset that I'm not going, especially because I actually was offered Kyle's ticket since Kyle isn't going, and I'm really upset about it, and I'm probably gonna cry next week because I'm not gonna be there live. But I'm meeting Kenny in November, so it's okay. I'm trying to breathe. But... Make sure to check out Dynamite if you have not already, and make sure to check out the AEP tomorrow before Rampage with Jackie to hear Kyle and Jackie's review. And Jackie was there, so Jackie has like a whole different perspective that me and Kyle don't have. So make sure to tune out tomorrow to tune into that tomorrow. But that's it for me, and yeah, I'll see you all when we review SmackDown. Unless, oh, actually, I'm actually thinking of reviewing Dark Side of the Ring, so maybe we'll do Dark Side of the Ring reviews. So you might see me on Friday. But yeah.